everyone welcome back to another session in dentistry and more today we have a topic from oral pathology it also comes in general medicine that is a granulocytosis a granulocytosis before moving on let's see what is granulocytes and a granulocytes so we know blood cells uh, we can uh, classify blood cells as granulocytes and a granulocytes granulocytes are those cells which has granules in the cytoplasm and a granulocytes those uh, without granules in the cytoplasm so granulocytes are neutrophils then eosinophils and basophils whereas a granulocytes are lymphocytes and monocytes so we are studying about a condition where the granulocytes are not properly present okay since we have this granulocytes here we might get confused about a granulocytosis but we are actually studying about granulocytes the conditions where the granulocytes are less in number okay that is what a granulocytosis is all about so it is also known as neutropenia penia means uh, less than normal then a granulosis then granulopenia granulocytopenia so the most common uh, condition is neutropenia that is why it is commonly known as neutropenia uh, mostly it is a reaction to the drugs okay so uh, it is a Regarding the gender predilection, a granulocytosis occurs slightly more frequent in women than in men, possibly because of their increased rate of medication. Okay, medication usage. Whether this high frequency is related to the increased incidence of autoimmune disease in women is actually unknown. That is also a possibility. Now, moving to the age, it is actually occurs in all age groups. the congenital forms are most common in childhood and the uh, this is congenital are mostly seen in childhood whereas the acquired is most common in the elderly population so that was uh, about the age now the classification so it can be congenital meaning uh, a person is born with the condition and person can acquire it from certain drugs or medical procedures so basically we have two types of classification congenital congenital and sorry and acquired okay so what are the causes of neutropenia or granulocytosis it is most commonly it is drug induced then autoimmune diseases then could be due to infections viral protozoal and miscellaneous problems in autoimmune diseases uh, we have the systemic lupus uh, erythematosus sla then pulte syndrome the enteric fever septicemia tuberculosis hiv the viral problems uh, again hiv hepatitis b Epstein Barr virus infection, protozoal, malaria, Carl Azar, miscellaneous. It includes a, a plastic anemia, then hypersplenism, megaloblastic anemia, uh, chronic autoimmune neutropenia, cyclic neutropenia. All this comes under autoimmune. Whereas a drug induced antibacterial uh, chloramphenicol, called trimoxazole, penicillin, doxycycline, ciprofloxacin, gentamicin. in anti inflammatory ibuprofen phenylbutazone in anti thyroid thiourazil and carbamazole anti convulsants phenytoin valproic acid so all can be reasons for uh, a granulocytosis now the pathogenesis okay pathogenesis it could be uh, categorized into four one is inadequate or in inadequate or in effective formation of granulocytosis or accelerated destruction of neutrophils or decreased production then decreased survival okay let's see one by one 
with regard to inadequate or ineffective formation of granulocytes. This can be due to bone marrow failure such as that occurs in aplastic anemia, several leukemia and chemotherapy, chemotherapeutic agents. So it is seen in aplastic anemia, various leukemia or chemotherapeutic agents. So one accelerated destruction of neutrophils. Okay, so immune mediated reaction to neutrophils which can be caused by drugs. Okay. So an enlarged spleen can lead to splenic sequestration and accelerated removal of neutrophils. If there, if there is enlarged spleen, we can expect a accelerated destruction of neutrophil and utilization of neutrophils can also occur in infection. Okay. In all these cases, we can see a accelerated destruction of neutrophil. Whereas decreased production is associated with a uh, few syndromes such as Kostman's syndrome then uh, Schwarzman diamond syndrome Schwarzman diamond syndrome in all these syndromes what happens is there is decreased production and also it could be due to leukemia mm, uh, lymphoma or plastic anemia or chemicals drug induced one infections in these cases also there will be decreased production uh, decreased survival associated with uh, again few syndromes such as uh, uh, felty syndrome felty syndrome and autoimmune neutropenia uh, sle and also some drugs so what are the clinical features clinical features uh, it depends upon the degree of neutropenia and uh, most commonly it is asymptomatic uh, chances of high grade fever rigorous or throat oral ulcers abscesses poor wound healing so all these can be symptoms and lab diagnosis uh, mostly it will be diagnosed by the blood smear that is a blood examination and also bone marrow examination so in a blood examination uh, there will be acute uh, neutropenia and regarding the management the first thing is colony stimulating factors so use of growth factors such as granulocyte colony stimulating factors or granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor and erythropoietin can be effective in uh, increasing uh, neutrophil production and use of antibiotics uh, combination of broad spectrum antibiotics are usually administered in case of viral and bacterial infection that is about antibiotics then corticosteroids may be used if the cause is an immunological disorder okay so that was about uh, a granulocytosis so we learned about uh, its introduction and when it is called neutropenia and why it is called neutropenia and there are various names before that we uh, studied about granulocytes granulocytes and when and how it is called neutropenia then regarding the sex and age the classification its causes and regarding the pathogenesis four mechanisms its clinical features lab diagnosis and finally the management all for today i'll come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you